Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today I'm going to show you guys a quick look at the broadcast deployable assembly that we offer on the website. We're going to take a look at the, the pulling eye, just a quick look at what to expect when you make your purchase and what it looks like, that sort of thing. Now, the cable that we do use for this assembly, if you're on the website, you're going to want to search for reference number 72943. So that way you can get a spec sheet on the cable that's used for your build. and. Um, there's also a separate bit, uh, video on just the cable itself. So, um, so if you want to look into that a little bit, you can go ahead and search that reference number and dive into that. There's also a PDF spec sheet in the downloads tab with for that cable. So uh, let's go ahead and check out this build real quick. Okay, so here's uh, basically what each side's going to look like. It's got this flexible mesh. We include a little ring here at the end, so you can go ahead and pull it uh, without pulling on the connectors or the, um, I guess you can pull from the cable further below, but um, it's probably better if you pull at the very end with this, uh, you know, little ring we put, put to the end of the mesh here. So now underneath that mesh, once you get it pulled back, uh, this is what the construction is going to look like on the bottom here. So we have the breakouts, the frication tubing that we add to each individual strand right there, just to strengthen each strand a bit more because, you know, it's just the fiber by itself is probably, um, you know, it's, it's pretty delicate. I guess you definitely want some added protection there. The other connectors themselves, we uh, don't stagger them. They're all even. And we do have, as you can tell, it's colored differently. So you can go ahead on the other side, you can go ahead and identify which strand is what. And we also do have the caps that are attached to the tubes. So you can go ahead and uh, unplug and you know, once you're done using it, you can replug it. You don't want to lose these. I mean, the fiber connectors, um, they're pretty sensitive to dirt. Definitely could cause you a big issue out in the field if you, um, a little speck of dirt in the way could be, you know, you pull your hair out. Uh, but that's pretty much what it looks like right there. And don't forget, if you want more information on the cable, check out that reference number. The other thing I do want to mention is with each cable, uh, we do include a DB loss spec sheet. Oh, we do include a DB loss spec sheet with the order just to make sure that when it leaves here it's working proper and for you also to know that you're getting a cable that works proper. One thing that you'll notice in this video is that this particular cable build that we made had a wooden spool. This particular customer has, it's just going to lay this cable out in an area where there's a lot of traffic, it's going to get stepped on, that sort of thing. But if you do need to deploy, you know, reel and recoil, uncoil, that sort of thing, you might want to consider one of these higher end spools. We do have these as an option. You can add it to your build and, you know, when you get your cable ordered, it'll show up with this cable on this particular reel. So if you plan on doing it a lot and you expect to have this cable for a long, long, many years down the road, that's probably the best way to go. So just something to consider. If you need a detailed spec sheet or more information on anything and to order online, visit DiscountLowVoltage.com. Thanks.